Hi, welcome back to day 19 of Pandemic Hope. It's brought to you um, using the Faith Five. So um, I'm Jennifer Hamilton. I'm here with you from Our Savior's Lutheran Church. I'm so glad that you've joined me again today. So today's reading is from Psalm 44, and it says, We have heard it with our ears, O God. Our ancestors have told us what you did in their days in days long ago. With your hand you drove out the nations, and you planted our ancestors. You crushed the peoples and made our ancestors flourish. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. You are my king and my God, who decrees victories for Jacob. Though Through you we push back our enemies. Through your name we trample our foes. I put no trust in my bow. My sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. In God we make our in God we make our boast all day long, and we will praise your name forever. But now you have rejected and humbled us. You no longer go out with our armies. You have made us retreat before the enemy, and our adversaries have plundered us. You gave us up to be devoured like sheep and have scattered us among the nations. You sold your people for a pittance, gaining nothing from their sale. You have made us reproach to our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The people shake their heads at us. I live in disgrace all day long, and my face is covered with shame at the taunts of those who reproach and revile me because of my enemy who is bent on revenge. All this came upon us, though we had not forgotten you, and we had not been false to your covenant. Our hearts had not turned back, our feet had not strayed from your path, but you crushed us and made us a haunt for jackals. You covered us over with a deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, would not God have discovered it, since he knows the secrets of the heart? Yet for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, Lord, why do you sleep? Rouse yourself, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust, our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and help us, rescue us because of your unfailing love. So this is definitely a cry out to God um, for help. And so do you feel like crying out to God today? It's okay if you do, go ahead and do it. God always hears us. So the faith practice that I have for you today is to pray for not only our country um, that's affected by COVID-19, but some other countries. So maybe um, pick a spot on the globe and take a look at what's going on in their country as far as COVID-19 and see what's going on and pray for them. Pray, pray, pray for them and for us. I encourage you to give that a try. Um, let me know if you need support. Feel free to reach out. We would love to hear from you. Our contact information is at the end here, either by email or by phone. I hope you have a wonderful day.